Okay, Hotshot. It's your turn to take the lead. Coming up. Remember not to cut into the fault line. Again! Uh, ah! Uh -huh. ah! 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 Oh no. Ah! Ah! Huh? Ugh, three times in a row? Sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't beat yourself up. Sim missions are just for practice. Because if you did that in the real world, we would be what the humans call hot bread. You mean toast. All right, recruits. We'll try again later. In the meantime, I need a volunteer for courtyard cleanup. I'll do it. At least I can't mess that up. Oh, there's got to be a more efficient way to do this. That's more like it. Maybe a little more power. Wow! What was that crash? Hot shot? Wasn't he supposed to clean this up? There appear to be more leaves than there were before. <laughs> I know, Wedge, not so hot at sweeping the yard. It would have been funnier if I'd said it. What's going on with me? I haven't messed up a simple chore. How about you go and play some cube? Take your mind off things. We'll handle the leaves. You will? Of yeah. course. Wait, what? All right, this I can do. Cube is my game. My game is cube. I own cube. Really? Come on. At least nobody saw that. You okay, Hotshot? Ugh, oh, perfect. I don't understand it. Everything I do today is going wrong, and I mean everything. You're only having a hard time because your confidence is shaken. Really? So how do I unshake it? You gotta get rid of your self-doubt. That's what I thought I was doing by playing Cube. If I'm no good at that, I'm no good at... At anything. Well, there is another way. There is? Uh, what's with the rubber duck? This isn't any ordinary duck. This is Lucky Ducky. Okay. Whenever he's with you, good luck follows. Really? Can I borrow him? Well, I guess I could lend him to you. Great! So... How does it work? Where's the start button? There isn't one. Luke is just, well, magic. Magic? Uh-huh. He won't let you fail. Try him. What have you got to lose? Hotshot, you did it! <laughs> yeah! And in record time. Nice job, recruits. Yeah! Exhilarating! I don't know what you changed, Totshot. Whatever it is, keep it up. That's the plan. What was that? What? Nothing. Squeaky elbow. Wow, Hotshot. Looks like your confidence is back. Yeah! I had the best day ever! Aced a sim rescue, set a new rollout speed record, and medics actually laughed at one of my jokes. All thanks to you-know-who. Well, I'm glad the little guy helped. I'll take him back now. No! I mean, uh, if it's okay with you, can I hold on to him a little longer? But you don't need him anymore. Sure I do! Please? All right. You can keep them a little longer. You ready to rock this rescue? 
Yes, we are. We? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we as in us, you and me, the team. <sighs> you really got to get that elbow checked. An iceberg has broken off the Labrador ice shelf, and it's on a collision course with the coast of Maine. Easy. We can just sink it. It's not that simple. Look, Dr. Hart from Griffin Rock Labs was studying the shelf. When the iceberg formed, she fell down a crevice. You need to save her while the rescue bots work on knocking the iceberg off course. You can count on us, Cody. Rescue bot recruits, roll out! Hey, Hotshot. Just want to wish you luck on the mission. Thanks, Cody, but I don't need luck, because I've got the duck. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll have you out as soon as possible. Please attach the hook to yourself. Ugh! Stop! Sorry, my leg is stuck. I'll try to force the crevice open wider to free up her leg. No good. The ice is too thick. Hey, Wedge, what's the scoop? Really? Construction equipment jokes? Dr. Hart's leg is stuck, and we can't pull her out of the crevice until we free it. Whirl, how far across the iceberg does that crack go? It runs almost to the edge. That's just what I was hoping for. Why'd you choose jet mode? It's not like you need to go anywhere fast. I'm about to put the hot in hot shot. Come on, Hoist. I need you to tether me with your winch. You got it, buddy. Humans cannot tolerate cold for very long. I am worried that if we wait much longer, Dr. Hart will be in serious trouble. Target acquired. Hoist, can you hold me in place? Gotcha. Now let's get cracking. Cracking? What is it with you and bad jokes today? I am unaware of anything funny. Exactly. Now lower your winch to the doctor, world. One winch coming up. Uh, going down. Doctor, we're trying again. Please attach the rescue hook to yourself. Wedge, we need your strength over here. On my way. Try widening that crevice with your scoop. Get it? Excellent lateral thinking, Hotshot. Yeah, you're totally back, buddy. And better than ever. Cool rescue. You get it? Because there was ice and it was cold? What? You're the only one that gets to make bad jokes? We were pretty awesome, weren't we? Oh, no. What's wrong? I didn't squeak. Great! Your elbow's better. No, I didn't squeak. I've lost him. Oh, no. Did I leave him on the iceberg? Is this another joke I don't get? It's no joke. Cody gave me a magic rubber duck toy. Without him, I'm no good at anything. A magic toy controls your destiny? That is illogical. Yeah? Well, if it wasn't Lucky Ducky's magic, then how did our mission go so well? You got your confidence back. No, it's because Lucky Ducky was with me. Was he? <gasps> oh, Lucky Ducky! But, wait, why do you have him? He never went on the mission. Huh? I took him back when we were high-fiving at the ground bridge, just before you went through. You still don't get it, do you? You did all that amazing stuff on your own. I only gave you Lucky Ducky to help you believe you could. So he's not magic? No, he's just a cute squeaky toy. <laughs> Everyone has a bad day sometimes. But that doesn't mean you should give up on yourself. Keep trying, and things will get better. All recruits, report to the ground bridge immediately. Hey, should we bring Luke the Lucky Ducky along? You know, just in case. Didn't you hear what Cody said? He's only a toy. Yeah, of course I know that. 
just in case. And now, on Heroes of Cybertron, with fire in his belly and high-powered water jets to put it out, grab some shade, because we're <laughs> having a heat wave! Wow, check out his angry face. I'm glad you find it amusing. Sorry, Professor Sir. Yeah, you're not funny at all, Chief. I mean, not that you're not funny. You're hilarious, and I'm gonna stop talking now. Listen up, recruits. Cody and I have to join the rescue bots for an urgent mission off planet. You and Cody? But that means we'll be here on our own. Exactly. You've proven yourselves responsible enough to be left without supervision. Yeah! <laughs> but don't get too excited. I'm leaving you a list of training lessons and chores to finish before I return. You can count on us, Chief. Totally! Yes. Yeah. And remember, any problems, just call us, okay? Absolutely. Uh, say hi to Bumblebee for me? Us? Let vacation time begin. Without class, we'll have time to reorganize our Earth Museum. And finally figure out if pet rocks are minerals or animals. A whole day of Heroes of Cybertron. Come on! Ahem, aren't you forgetting something? Don't worry. How bad could Heat Wave's list be? Oh, that's not so... bad. Oops. <laughs> uh, so how many things have we checked off Heat Wave's list? Including zipline training? One. One? Great. And we still have to clean the whole academy. That's the spirit wedge. On to the next one. Ugh. There's gotta be a faster way to get all this done. Faster way? Whoa! <laughs> Okay, number of lessons checked off. Four. That's good, right? Sure, if we only had five things to do, but we have like 500. And that's before we even start cleaning. So what if we don't have to? But it's on the list. Say hello to the scrub -a dubber Looks more like a hunk of junka. It needs a power pod to work. Prepare to be amazed. Whoa! Boy, that's incredible! Ah, uh, boys, what is it doing? <laughs> well, that was rude. But very clean. It just needs a new power pod once in a while, and it'll clean the whole academy for us. Meaning, we can finish our lessons while it does our chores. With time left for us to watch Heroes of Cybertron. Next on the list is first aid. This lesson is about applying bandages to an injured human. Shouldn't we practice on Chuck? This is way more fun. For you, maybe. Hey, Hotshot. You think that thing can go any faster? I said... Forget it. Now for the second layer of bandages. Hmm? There. That should speed up our list. Free time, here I come. Note, this is not the preferred method to remove human bandages. Ah! But it's fast. And another lesson checked off Heat Wave's list. Next up... <gasps> Study! Yay! Last one to the library is a duck-billed platypus! Hey, Wedge, what were you trying to ask me? I couldn't hear under all these bandages. Just asking if you thought that cleaning droid could go any faster. Turns out, it can. Really? Here you go, pal. The faster you clean, the more time I get for Cube. Yes. 
By my calculations, your circuits should safely accommodate the energon of another power pod. And the sooner you finish our chores, the sooner I can catalog my medical supplies. Hey, little guy. Aw, I know. Cleaning is hard work. Hey, maybe you could use a little more juice. You like that, huh? Hmm, well, if one pod's good, then three must be better. You're welcome. And thanks. We really appreciate your cleaning. Uh, we should probably get the scrub a dubber in here to clean that up. I'll go check on him. He must be running low on Energon by now. I'm sure he's fine. Absolutely. Yeah, I just saw him. That scrubber's got more Energon than me. And that's saying something. Well, if you're sure he's okay, I guess I do need the practice. Almost done. Just one more lesson on Heat Wave's list. And it's a good one. Who's up for a volcano simulation? Uh, what kind of volcano spews out bubbles? Not a simulated one, that's for sure. These bubbles are real. Go! It's no use. There's too many. And where's Hoist, Medics, and Wedge? Help! Over here! Get us out! They're in bubble. I mean, trouble. What is happening? My scrub a dubber! It appears to be malfunctioning. I don't get it. It'd take a ton of power for it to lose control like this. And I only used one power pod. Okay, I may have added one more. I added one too. Uh, what? So did I. And I may have added <clears throat> three more pods to help it go faster. <gasps> well, it's going faster, all right. We have to stop it before it wrecks the entire academy. I'm on it. For the record, I am never visiting this car wash again. Ah! I got this. Yep, I sure. <laughs> I I sure. <laughs> Stop it! Jump there! Oh no, it's headed for the lounge. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Whirl, look out! Huh? Ah! Whoa! Thanks, Hoist. I got it. Oh no! Team, we need to think logically. What is it that the droid actually wants? To clean up messes. It's got a funny way of showing that. Maybe we can get its attention with something messy. Here, scrub a dubber. Look at all this great junk to clean. It doesn't know which one to clean first. We did it! Result! Yeah. Except, look at this place. It's worse than before we started. So much for cleaning shortcuts. Indeed. It would seem that faster isn't always better. Huh. <sighs> We'd better start scrubbing. I don't think this place has ever been this clean. Not even when it was built. I'm impressed. Did you accomplish everything on my list? Yep, oh, definitely. Yes, yeah. We even did some bonus rescue practice. Excellent work, team. I knew I could count on you. <sighs> Why don't you tell me exactly what happened? while we were gone.
Good morning, recruits. Instead of class today, I've got a very important mission for you. Permission to woohoo, Professor Boulder? Uh, granted. Woohoo! Glad you're on board. Now, for our important mission, you'll each need one of these. Oh, I've seen this before. It's for cleaning Dinobot teeth, right? <gasps> I really hope not. I believe they are for reaching things that are far away. <laughs> They're perfect for today's mission, picking up trash. Trash? Respectfully, sir, we're training to be rescue bots. Shouldn't we be rescuing something? Maybe we're saving soda cans from being stepped on. <gasps> oh, or plastic bags from getting stuck in trees. That's an important mission? I think it's a great idea. Well, we're supposed to protect Earth, aren't we? Cleaning it up seems like a good place to start. Exactly, Wedge. Trash causes a lot of damage to the environment and the creatures living there. But to make things exciting, let's add a little competition. A challenge! Why are we still Trash here? winner coming through! Okay, recruits. The rules are simple. Stay in Griffin Rock Park and pick up as much trash as you can. You have one hour. Ready, set, wait up, Hotshot! <laughs> All right! Go. <gasps> I saw it first! Hey, get your own trash. Thanks. I'll take that. Almost got it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Ha! Got it! Whoa! Oh, come on! Sorry, Hoist. I've got a runner. Stop! Police! You are resisting arrest! <gasps> you know that's just trash waiting to happen. <gasps> Listen, squirrels don't even wear shoes. Time's up. Trash grabbers down. Good job, recruits. The park looks great. We take our mission seriously, sir. Also, we want to win. Hmm. Nice try, Hoist. But I'll need you to return the dog. And the jungle gym. Wow, Wedge! Two full cans? I think we have our winner. Yeah! Thanks, but the real winner was the park's wildlife. And your prize is to be leader of our next cleanup mission. Hoist, why is your grabber beeping at me? Glad you asked. Meet the Grand Garbage Grabber, version 1.0. I don't know what it does, but it's got a lot of buttons, so I'm already impressed. It extends 20 feet and has a super strong magnet. It attracts metal, so I won't have to chase trash. It'll come to me. Whoa! Ah! You've created a monster. <laughs> All right, recruits. Ready for your next mission? Absolutely, Professor. Yeah. What are we cleaning up this time? Why don't we head through the bridge and find out? Yeah! Hey! Woohoo! Woo! Hey! I'm the team leader this time, remember? Ooh. Ooh. Ah! And that is why there is no running by the pool. <laughs> I don't think this is a pool. It's the ocean, recruits, and your mission is to help clean it up. How? There's nothing here. But there's plenty down there. All that junk is bad for sea creatures who eat it or get tangled in it. Humans can't breathe in water, so it's hard for them to clean the ocean. But bots don't breathe, so we're going underwater? I don't even like stepping in puddles. You want to tell him that? Aw, he has his own grabby claws. That is kind of cute. I'm calling you Clifford. Got your nose. Got your nose. Ow! That's my nose, Clifford. So, what do you say, team? Are you ready to clean up this ocean and protect its creatures? I'm in! For Clifford! Consider that trash picked up. Uh, it is still a competition, right? If that means you'll collect more trash. 
Last one in the water is a Decepticon. There's a lot more down here than just water. <gasps> it's beautiful. How could anyone dump trash here? Whoever it was, they're gonna wanna talk to that squirrel. Remember, team, the mission is to pick up anything harmful to sea life. Cans, nets, trash. Seriously? Again? You're gonna catch me a cart. Uh, can anyone catch me? Okay, I didn't want to do this, but initiating Turbo World. <laughs> Bad news. No trash picked up. Good news. Look like a mermaid! Oh, hello, Mr. Eel. Are you one of those electric kinds? Ah! I'll take that as a yes. Yes! Huh? Ah! How's the cleanup going, team? Ah! <laughs> okay, time out. What's going on? I was briefly a mermaid. And I filled two baskets with seaweed. Whirl, that's not trash. It's a plant that grows down here. Oh, that explains why there's so much of it. That's nothing. Check it out. My basket's stuffed with stuff. <sighs> Rocks and shells belong down here. We're supposed to pick up trash. Does uh, this count? Did you catch it, or did it catch you? What about you, medics? Medics? No squabbling, Claire, or I'll have to separate you. Camilla, what did I say about sharing? Guys, we need to pick up trash, and only trash, like this. Yeah, it's a competition, but I hope you all beat me, if it means protecting the ocean. Aye, aye, Captain Wedge, activating Grand Garbage Grabber. <laughs> A giant sea monster! It's too late for me! Save yourselves! It's just a shipwreck hoist. Metal that attracted your magnet. Now that's some trash. How are we gonna get it in our baskets? Maybe that friendly shark can help us. Hello! That has a lot of teeth. Perfect for picking up trash. Right, Frederico? Wow! Medics is trapped. I got this. Stop! We can't hurt the shark. He's just protecting his home. Maybe if we show him we're trying to do the same thing? Frederico thinks cleaning up his home is an excellent idea. Just look at that smile. Right. Come on, team. Let's pick up some trash. Yes! Nice! So shiny! Hurry! Everyone grab a bot and form a line. We're all get in front. Are we dancing or are we escaping? Turn on your rotors, Whirl! <laughs> Left, right, a coral, eel, seaweed! Oh, that's Boulder! Whirl, take us out. Hang on, everyone. Whoa! What just happened? We brought up a basket of trash. And escaped a huge shark. And made a lot of friends. Plus, Wedge totally aced the leadership thing. Just checking, there was no prize for this mission, was there? Uh, no. Then Wedge is definitely the winner. Thanks, team but there's still a lot of trash left down there. We should really pick it up. Maybe a little later. Oh, wow. Can you pass me a 
me a number three sonic wrench, please, Heatwave? Thank you, Cody. Your help working on these small circuits is invaluable. As you see, with hands my size... Cody! This is Hoist! Please respond! Over! I can hear you, Hoist. No need to shout. Aw, that's disappointing. I was trying to make a new comm system that humans can't hear. I based it on some Earth tech I found. I call them Talky Squawkies. But I can hear you because I'm standing right next to you. Maybe you should try sending a message from somewhere else. Hmm. Good point, Cody. Come in, Whirl. I need you to send a test message to Cody. Come on, Cody. Let's continue our system check elsewhere. Come in, Whirl. Heatwave and Cody? Come in, Heatwave and... Oh. Um, Hoist, I'm not sure the test works if they're actually in the same room as me. <sighs> we'll be in my office. Peace at last. Testing. Heatwave and Cody, come in. This is Medics. Ugh, we can hear you. Um, actually, Heatwave, I didn't hear anything that time. Hmm. It works! Now we'll be able to use these talky squawkies on missions in Milford to help us avoid human detection. Maybe. When they've been properly tested and our recruits have been trained to use them, new things must be treated with extra care. You really shouldn't be in bot form this close to Milford. You might be seen. Relax. Heatwave chose today for this mission because it's so quiet. All the humans are at the Milford Founders Festival show in the arena. I heard they play the Milford anthem to fireworks at the end. I want to see that. And we will, from a safe distance. That was the last one. Good work. Now it's time to return to the academy and... Hotshot? Relax, the cars are gone. The people must be at the show. Besides, how often do we get to play with puppies? Retrieve. I believe the correct term is fetch. These pups are amazing. It doesn't matter where the stick goes. They always seem to find it. We should get back to base. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. One second. Ah, oh, told ya. Amazing. We will be late. Okay. See ya, Shep. See ya, Lou. Testing, Hotshot and Wedge, come in. Testing. We can hear you, Hoist. Oh, hold on, Hoist. There seems to be a disturbance at the Milford Hill Farm. Maybe we should go and investigate. I could do with your help back here, Hotshot. I want to spend the whole morning running tests over the Academy speaker system. The whole morning? Hand me that walkie, talky, squawky thingamabot. Hotshot, it is vital that you investigate. In fact, it is so important that I shall send your fellow students to help immediately. Take all the time you need. You can continue testing these things tomorrow, or possibly next month. They seem to have calmed down. I wonder what spooked them. Hello, Shep. There's the farm. <gasps> the farmer's back. I guess he didn't go to the Founders show. We need to warn Hotshot and Wedge. I'll use my talky squawky system. I didn't think Heatwave wanted us using that in the field until it'd been properly tested. He'd understand. This is an emergency. Wow, those pups can find that stick anywhere. Watch out, Hotshot. There's a human approaching right now. <laughs> Oh, no, Wedge, shut the gate! Oh, I really shouldn't have left that open. Huh? That was close. We need to get those dogs back before the farmer realizes they're missing. I don't see how we can. The dogs ran towards Milford. Milford is quiet today because of the festival. And we've got my new talky squawkies, so we can warn each other before any humans see us. Rescue bot recruits, roll out! 
We need to move quickly. Once the festival show ends, the crowds will empty out of the stadium and fill the streets. But it will take hours to search the city. We'll have a better chance if we split up. Wedge and I know what the puppies look like, so we should each lead a team. And remember, use your talky squawkies to stay in touch. show once where an officer tried to think like the person they were trying to find. So, if you guys were a dog, where would you go? Hmm, is there a squeaky toy store in Milford? <gasps> hey, they remember me. Oh, smart doggies, I'm pleased to see you guys. We should let the others know we found them. Wedge, medics, this is Hoist. We've located the missing dogs. Come back! Uh, scratch that. We did have them. Hmm. You don't think... No time for thinking, Whirl. We have to catch those pups. We're chasing them down Main Street. Ugh, if they didn't keep running down alleyways, we could use our vehicle forms. They're way faster than us. There's no way we'll catch them before. Do you mind, Hoist? The Gloombot commentary is not helping. Sorry. Whoa, shh. Nobody spooked them. I'll let the others know. Hoist, wait. I think it's the talky squawkies that are upsetting them. Whirl, that's highly unlikely. Wedge, medics, we've located. Oh, where are the dogs? I thought you had them. They ran off again. It looks like my new comm system is the problem. I guess this is why Heatwave said it's important to be careful when trying new things. Come on, they can't have gone far. And we know how to stop them from running away this time. Okay, all we have to do now is stay off Hoist's dog-scaring devices and take them back to the farm. But. Does anyone know where we are? Hmm. We were running around so much, I lost track. It's okay. We can just use our regular comm system to contact the Academy and call a ground bridge. Actually, uh, we can't. I had to disconnect our old system to test the new one. I have to be back at the Academy to reactivate it. So how do we find our way home? We must act quickly. That's the Milford Anthem. It's the cue for the fireworks and the end of the festival show. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful with my new talky squawkies. It's my fault we don't know the way home. Don't worry. We might not know the way, but I know someone who does. Huh? huh? Shep, Lou, fetch the stick. Rescue bot recruits, roll out. them. Transform! We did it! We got them home! I can't wait to tell Heatwave! Um... Oh, right. Maybe I'll tell him in person. So you were right, Heatwave. I should have been more careful with my system then you all learned a valuable lesson. But I'm interested, Hoist. What human tech did you base your talky squawkies on? This, a device that makes a sound outside the range of human hearing. Hoist, that's a dog whistle. So that's why all the dogs got excitable. Ow, that's loud. Cut it out! <laughs> Looks like that's not just a dog whistle. It's a bot whistle, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
the electrical storm is approaching faster than we thought. Can we take shelter here? Sadly, no. With the lightning and waves from the storm, nowhere on the island or the water is safe. <laughs> Good thing the last VIPs are being rounded up. VIPs? Very important penguins. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Ugh. Remind me why these birds are so important? The yellow-eyed penguin is one of the rarest penguins on Earth. There are only 4,000 of them known to exist. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to count them. Oh, oh. gotcha. Come on, little fella, back in line. Okay, that's all of them. You mean besides those two? What? <laughs> Looking for these fellas? Oh, come on. Uh, where are Wedge and Whirl? Making a final check of the island to make sure we aren't missing any. We better call them back. Boulder isn't sure how this storm will affect the Sigma, so we gotta go. Wedge, Whirl, this is Hoist. Do you read me? We just about you. Back to Sigma. We'll leave soon. Okay, I think I understood that. We're on our way back. The electrical storm must be interfering with communications. Good thing we've got all the penguins rounded up. You two are lucky we found you. Don't be frightened. You need to come with us. It's not safe here. Hoist, we need a little more time. We found two penguins, and they're kind of shy. Got it. Come as quick as you... Ow! We'll wait for... Hey, put that down! Don't touch that! What is going on back there? You really shouldn't be doing that. Wait, stop! I can't... Whoa! <sighs> Come back! I know you're a hungry little guy, but please don't lick the Sigma Drive. No, that's the eject! <laughs> <sighs> Fruits? One of the penguins keeps jumping up and down on the lever. Uh. <sighs> Whoa. New plan. We'll deliver these penguins to the habitat we prepared for them, then come back for the others. Do we have time before the storm? It'll be close, but these penguins are a handful. If we don't fly the ship now, we might not have a ship to fly. We'll stay on the island until you get back, Professor Boulder. Yeah, we'll help get Whirl and Wedge to the beach. We shall be prepared for your return. Hmm, I wish there was another option. Oh boy. Stick together, recruits. Remember your training and be careful. I'll be back soon. At least he's got the penguins under control. Kinda. Come in, Hotshot. Come in, Hoist. Come in, Medics. They're not answering. I wish I could tell these guys there's a storm coming. They wouldn't want to get back to their nest if they knew the whole island is about to get hit by giant waves. Ugh. Ugh. There you are. We need to get back to the beach, fast. We'd be there already if Stan and Holly didn't keep escaping. Huh? We named them. Maybe we can speed this up in vehicle mode. Tried that. They kept jumping out of my scoop. I mean a vehicle with seat belts and closing doors. Fine, but you're all helping clean my upholstery after this. Stop running around, that tickles. Professor Boulder. He went to deliver the first batch of penguins, but we thought he'd be back by now. Penguin safe. Storm. Sigma can't fly. Your orders. It appears that we are on our own. We can still complete the mission. Whirl and I can fly the penguins to safety. You guys can wait here. 
A storm can't hurt rescue bots. What was that? It appears to have been some kind of electromagnetic pulse. We'll stick to the plan. Fly those penguins to safety. I can't transform. Me neither. Ugh. I can't even use my winch whips. I believe that electric pulse shut down all of our Cybertronian abilities. It will take time for our systems to recover. Time's the one thing we don't have. Think, team. How do we get these penguins to safety without tech? I remember watching an Earth movie about a man trapped on an island with a volleyball for a friend. He built a raft and escaped. I don't know what a volleyball is, but we can't build a raft without tools. We still have our greatest tool. Is it an invisible hammer? Unless I am mistaken, hoist is referring to our brains. Yeah, we need to work fast. Look for anything that might be useful and bring it down to the beach. We can still do this. How do we make a raft out of this stuff? We'll use the shells to cut the wood and rope it together with seaweed. It doesn't need to be pretty, just usable. You know, it's great what you can do with just your brain and a team. We should ask Boulder if we can go on missions like this all the time. Okay, it's not that great, but it does make a nice change. We did it! And just as the rain stopped. Aw, after all that work? At least we're safe. That's strange. The beach has grown. The tide sure went out fast. I've heard about this. It's what happens right before a giant wave hits. Oh. The lightning is no longer a danger, but that wave is. We need to get out of here before it hits. Quick, grab Stan and Holly. Um, where are they? What is with these penguins? Don't they want to be rescued? Do you think they ran back to their nest again? We'll go check. You get the raft down to the water. There's still time if we move fast. What could be so important that those penguins would run into danger to get back to their nest? Oh. I guess that explains it. We had enough trouble with two of them. How are we supposed to move five? I have an idea. Why are you walking like that? Wedge, is part of you damaged? Only my pride. It worked, didn't it? I thought there were only two penguins. Meet Mary, Curly, and Mo. They're new. Really, really new. I'd love to hang out with them, but the wave's about to hit the island. We need to hurry! Hold on tight, everyone. Now paddle! According to my admittedly simple calculations, it will take us days to reach land again. I think they're okay with that. Uh, guys, do you know how to surf? Because I think we're about to get a hands-on lesson. the yellow-eyed penguins are safe. And as soon as the storm clears, we can find them a new home. You recruits did well. Despite all the obstacles in your way, you used your brains and got the job done. Come back! Look at that! We could use a little help in here. Uh, I better get back to the ground bridge. I think that was the rescue bot alarm. Huh? I don't hear anything. Good work, recruits! Keep it up! Hey! 
Welcome back, recruits. A snowy rescue is never easy. You've earned a break. Thank you, Heat Wave, sir. Those poor hikers, that blizzard came out of nowhere. Yeah, a total whiteout. Indeed, my visor vision was reduced to a mere 28%. Good thing there was a super team of rescue bot recruits nearby, huh, guys? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Affirmative. True that. <laughs> Who said that? It's a dog. <laughs> he must have followed us back through the ground bridge. Are you lost, little fella? Aww. <laughs> we'll take care of you. Ah. Uh. You are aware of Academy Rule 78B, subsection C, no pets allowed, right? Sure, but there's got to be some exceptions. I mean, how can you say no to this adorable face? The little guy looks cold and hungry, too. But the penalty for breaking a rule is to sit out on multiple rescues. We'll only keep him here for a little while. Our teachers won't even have to know. Normally, I would point out the foolishness of such misguided logic. However, this canine is incredibly cute. Aw, he must want to go back to the snow to play. I've got a better idea. Go get it, Speedy! Speedy? No, we can't call him that. Why not? He is Speedy. Guys. I think we can come up with a better name. Guys! <clears throat> Blades! <clears throat> Blades! You feeling okay, Hoist? <laughs> Blades! That cough does sound odd. Let me have a look. Well, I didn't know there was a cube game scheduled today. Oh. <laughs> Blades. Got it. Ha ha ha! Uh, practice makes perfect, right? Oh, so just a small game. We thought we'd uh, train with a tiny cube to uh, improve our hand-eye coordination. Better keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he wants to go outside. Wow, you got the digging thing down. Good boy, Scoop. Wait, Scoop? What's wrong with Scoop? Indeed, he does excel at earth excavation. No way! Scoop isn't even a name! Actually, I know a couple of Scoops. Ah, Professor Boulder, who's right here. Hi! What are all these holes for? Uh, we thought it was time to plant some trees, sir. Good thinking, recruits. The courtyard could use more plant life. I'll put in a request. Has anyone considered the name Close Call? <laughs> Woohoo! Having four legs really pays off, huh, Bouncy? Yeah, no, we're not calling him Bouncy. I concur with Hotshot. We can come up with a better name. I think Schnoodles agrees. Ugh, Schnoodles? No, no way! Aw, oh, I thought it was cute. I've got it. I've thought of the perfect name. We shall call him Dog. <laughs> Why anything else? He is a dog, so there would be no confusion. It makes perfect sense. Ah, I believe he's trying to communicate with me. Yeah, to tell you dog is a horrible name. Woof, 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 woof. That was the best circuit time yet, guys. Woof, woof, woof. Good to see you getting some extra training in during your downtime, recruits. That's dedication. What was that? Hoist has been making odd noises all day, sir. Perhaps he's due for a checkup. Whoa, huff! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. A new sound. I shall try to decode its meaning. It means he's sad, medics. But why? We've been having so much fun. Wow, he really likes our rescue alarm. Stay here, buddy. Excellent response time, recruit. Huh? What was that? It appeared to be a dog, sir. 
And there'd better be a good explanation for that when we get back. Now, we have a situation at the Griffin Rock Water Park. It's closed for the season, but a maintenance worker fell in while painting one of the slides. Your mission is to get him out. Rescue bot recruits, roll to the rescue. rescue! Here's the plan. Save the human, then find our dog. Whoa, no way we can fit in that thing. Exactly. Our best option is to cut out the section that the worker is trapped in. Is there another way where we don't wreck the slide? I am afraid not. Hey, you found us. Good boy. Sorry, buddy. Not really the time to play tug of war. I don't think he wants to play. I think he wants to help. It looks like he wants you to drop your hook down the slide so you can pull the worker out. He said that? My translation was jelly bean flip-flop candle wick. Uh, I'd keep practicing. Huh? I think he's letting us know the <laughs> human has the line. Yeah, I feel a tug. Oh, thanks. I was freezing in there. Oh, no, good no. boy. Excellent work, dog. Uh, bot's best friend. I think we all agree that Schnoodles should be an honorary rescue bot recruit. <laughs> now that I can translate. Don't call me Schnoodles. <laughs> We're really sorry we kept Bouncy a secret from you, Professor Heatwave. Scoop just followed us home. He was lost. We had to keep him. And Speedy really helped on the rescue. Schnoodles is part of our team now, sir. Wait, is there one dog or four? Just the one, sir. Well, I can tell you've all bonded with this little guy, but what if he's already part of someone else's family? Did any of you think of checking his collar for contact information? <sighs> Sir? We know that the punishment for keeping a pet in the Academy is to sit out rescues. But would you allow us to go on one more mission first? To reunite this special dog with his owner? A worthy mission indeed. The ID tag has a Griffin Rock phone number. Let's call it. Hello, Murphy residents. <coughs> What's Heatwave doing with you? Heatwave? Oh, my husband Frank named him after his favorite rescue bot. Good choice. But why isn't he with Frank? They went hiking this morning. In fact, my husband should have been home by now. Wait, we did rescue everyone from that blizzard, right? <coughs> that sounds like a no. Come on, little heat wave. Show us where Mr. Murphy is. <coughs> How clever. He's using his sense of smell to guide us. This must be Mr. Murphy's backpack. But where is he? Help! Go find him, boy! Rescue by recruits here to help, sir. Are you okay? I sprained my ankle, but I feel better now that you're here. I got all turned around in the blizzard. I lost my backpack, my phone, then I fell over this rock. Heatwave was with me for a bit, but he ran off. He came to find us. <laughs> yeah, to let us know we'd missed you when we rescued everyone else. Ah, good boy, Heatwave. Hang on, Mr. Murphy. I'll get you to a doctor. Bye, much cuter than the other Heatwave. Good boy. Come back and visit soon. Woof. I can't believe we didn't realize Heatwave the dog followed us back here because he needed our help. He was one smart pup. <sighs> I miss having a pet. You won't have to. Is that fish for us? But what about Academy Rule 78B subsection? I've decided to make an exception, just this once. So what will we call her? Looks like a schnoodles to me. Hmm, schnoodles. Yeah, I'll buy that. Sure, why not? Blub blub. I'm merely confirming with the fish that it likes its new name. And? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah!